With access to material insider information comes material responsibility. Who are you? Why are you telling me all these? I do not have access to any unpublished company information. I'm not an insider either. Ignorance isn't bliss, when it comes to unpublished price sensitive information, or, UPSI. What is UPSI? Have you read the Code of Practices and Procedures for Fair Disclosure of Unpublished Price Sensitive Information, and Code of Conduct, to regulate, monitor and report trading by insiders? Who reads them? It's just another compliance document. Anyway, I do not share any work-related matters to anyone, except my wife. Well well. Do you know that it extends to your immediate relative, which means your spouse, parents, siblings and children? Oh. Thank you, but who are you? I haven't seen you before. This company is full of people who believe in good. I'm one of them. Unpublished Price Sensitive Information, or UPSI, is any information related to a company or its securities, directly or indirectly, that is not publicly available. Any person receiving UPSI, whether for legitimate purposes or not, is an insider. UPSI, when made public is likely to materially affect the price of the securities. It seems your growth will be muted in the next two years. Not at all, we are actually quite upbeat. Based on your current capacity and expansion plan. Don't be so negative. Something at play, acquisition? As a growing company, we always explore organic and inorganic growth opportunities. Come on. That's management speak. Wait, you went to Brazil a couple of weeks back. Anything brewing there? For your ears only. We are close to acquiring a manufacturing unit there. But don't write about it yet. Have you lost your mind? How could you divulge such price sensitive information selectively? But I've known her for over a decade. That doesn't matter. She has already shared that information in her WhatsApp group. Being a key management personnel, you should have been careful. Make sure you make a prompt and uniform public disclosure immediately. Ensure information shared with analyst or research personnel are not UPSI. In case of any selective or inadvertent disclosure of UPSI, the company shall ensure immediate public disclosure. Sharing of UPSI with lenders, customers, suppliers, merchant bankers, legal advisors, auditors, insolvency professionals and consultants is considered to be carried out for legitimate purposes. The company maintains a digital database of persons or entity with whom UPSI has been shared for legitimate purposes. Planning to buy company shares? Yes, but I'm not sure whether to carry out the trade without pre-clearance. By the time the approval comes, I will miss the bus. Oh, so what were you planning to do? I don't know, probably make the trade, it's a small amount, no one will notice, results will be announced in a week and it would be a good set. But not sure, there was a mail on trading window and pre-clearance. Too complicated. That would have been a big mistake. When in doubt, ask. Make sure you are aware about trading window and pre-clearance. The trading window closes on the first day of the month after the end of a quarter till 48 hours from the date of informing the results to the stock exchanges. Designated persons are informed quarterly about the trading window, even when the trading window is open, designated persons cannot trade in company shares unless the proposed trade is pre-cleared by the compliance officer, if the value of the proposed trade is above 5 lakh rupees in market value. The audit committee reviews compliance of the insider trading regulations at least once in a financial year and verifies that the systems for internal controls are in place and are adequate and are operating effectively. A designated person is not allowed to execute a contra trade for six months following the prior transaction, unless the compliance officer relaxes the restriction citing valid reasons in writing. If a contra trade is executed, inadvertently or otherwise, SEBI can disgorge the profits from such trade for credit to the Investor Protection Fund. The restriction however, is not applicable for trades after the exercise of stock options and trades carried out in accordance with an approved trading plan. We foresee some supply tightness. It's quite worrying. Don't worry. We are planning to. Are you sure you should give him this price sensitive information? I'm just trying to assuage his concerns. He is a big customer. That's all. Okay. Go ahead. 
We are setting up a new manufacturing plant outside India, which should ease any supply issues. Now, see what happens. You just became a participant in insider trading. You are kidding. I just shared the information and didn't personally benefit from it financially. Intent my dear Mohini. Intent. That's all the law enforcers will have to establish. Help me, please. Go ahead. Don't worry sir. We are keeping a close eye on the supply situation, and will do everything in our capacity to ensure there's no impact on your business. Thank you for saving my day. You are my superhero. You can be a superhero too, even if you don't wear a cape. Designated persons encompass all directors, promoters, key managerial personnel, managing director, CFO, company secretary, executive directors, chief of functions and all vice presidents, including that of material subsidiaries. Employees of the company and its material subsidiaries in finance, secretarial, investor relations and any other department as may be determined by the compliance officer from time to time. The CEO and employees up to two levels below irrespective of their functional role or their ability to have access to UPSI. Any support staff with access to UPSI. Immediate relatives of the persons mentioned. Hey, how did the review meeting go? The usual, nothing significant to talk about. Come on. He likes you. He must have told you something on the sidelines. Nothing that concerns us. The company is planning to. Are you sure about divulging the fundraising plans to Samir? What's the harm? I believe in transparent sharing of information. That's a great leadership trait. People must know about things that could have an impact on their career and life. But some information like fundraising should be shared on a need-to-know basis. Ask yourself. Does he need to know? Maybe not. But I still don't understand what's the harm. He could pass on the information to a relative or a friend to profit from trading in our company shares. That would constitute insider trading. Come on. That's quite a stretch. Are you sure that he won't? Hey, where are you lost? So, the company is planning to? The company is planning to step up efforts on sensitizing people about insider trading. Ah. I thought there's some big bang news. I think it's quite an important step. Sometimes, we tend to do things without thinking much about the consequences. So, what constitutes unpublished price sensitive information? Expansion and disposals of business. Mergers, demergers, acquisitions and delistings. Financial results. Dividends. Change in capital structure. Change in key managerial personnel. Remember, this is an indicative and not an exhaustive list. A detailed insider trading policy is available at www.pcbllt.com. All the designated persons, insiders, are being annually informed to visit the website and abide by the code of conduct on insider trading in order to be aware of the insider trading norms. What have you got? You won't believe. I know our results. You are the most powerful man in this company. But be careful. I can't trade, but you can. You owe me, my friend. Don't worry, I'll take care of your interests. You think you are too clever. But I know what you are up to. What do you want? I was keeping an eye on you. I was sure you will do something stupid. Why did you share the results with Rajesh? You could be a co-accomplice to fraud. How? If you provide unpublished information to an individual or a group of people, it's defrauding our uninformed shareholders. Maybe. Who's watching? Rajesh is quite good at hiding his trails. Do you think trading through Rajesh's mother-in-law's account will let him get away? How do you know that? Don't assume that no one's watching. Tell him not to initiate any trade and inform about this incident to the compliance officer. What if he's already done? Will I be punished? I've got your back. I'll stop him. Thank you. Here's another piece of advice. Be careful about what you share and with whom. Do you know Rajesh is on his way out to a competitor? Remember, people indulging in insider trading face a penalty of rupees 25 crore or 3 times the profit, whichever is higher, or imprisonment extending to 10 years, or both. He or she could be barred from dealing in securities.
This is also true for those abetting any such transactions. Did you see the new awareness module on insider trading? It's just a big fuss and waste of time. Yeah, I think so too. We are lesser mortals. It's the senior leadership team that actually indulges in such activities. You are wrong my friends. I repeat, any employee, irrespective of their position in the company hierarchy, can be an insider, if they have unpublished price sensitive information relating to the company. Oh, I didn't know that. Where can I get more info on insider trading? I wish you had watched the video carefully. But the good thing is, you can watch it again anywhere, anytime. A detailed insider trading policy is available on our website. This policy document sounds like legal gibberish. You may find it so. The awareness module was created especially for people like you. So that you always are on the side of caution. The senior leadership team is strictly prohibited to trade in companies' shares. Their trading activities and that of their spouses are tracked through a tool weekly. The senior leadership team has voluntarily submitted their PANs and that of their spouses to facilitate the tracking process. An annual declaration must be furnished with PAN, names of their immediate relatives and those with whom they share a material financial relationship, contact details and names of past employers. Also remember. Do not. Leave any hard or soft copies of UPSI in a publicly accessible space. Discuss any UPSI over phone in public. Discuss about UPSI with another person in public even if the person is privy to the information. Share images of confidential information via WhatsApp or any media. Communicate UPSI to the press before public dissemination. Madness, as you know, is like gravity, all it takes is a little push. I'm not a hero. I do not have any special powers. I'm what you are and what you do. I'm a silent guardian, a watchful protector. You are the dark knight of Philips Carbon Black Limited. When in doubt, refer to. Insider Trading Prohibition Code. When still unclear or require urgent response, please email at pcbl.investor at rpsg.in.